the prophet peace upon him said, there will be no prophet after me. Do you agree with him? What's that? There will be no prophet after me. You agree with him? Who told you this? There's no such thing. There's not just thing. Lana be about you know there's not just thing. Lana be about doesn't mean. There is one second. One second. Hear my hear my words. You say, you keep throwing this. You're going after prophet peace upon him. You you're saying my answer. Him. No no. Make my answer. No no. Hear, hear my words. You want to hear my words? Yes. Yeah. He said he will so, come. So so you're come, so you're come. saying you're saying to me that I'm going against the words of the Prophet peace upon him, yes. and I'm saying to you you're directly going in the Quran says you're, will come you're, again. you're directly going against the, the words of the Prophet peace upon him. No, I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. Prophet peace upon him said there will be no prophet. If there was to be a prophet after me, it would have been Umar. No. But there would be no prophet after. There no, would be no after me. He says coming. If no, there would be after me, do you understand? Can you after me? Do you know what, what does that mean? What, what does that mean? Me? I'm asking. No prophet. But Dawood, no listen, to, Dawood, listen okay. to me. One so second. I've got the verse. Da, one second. One second. listen to me. Dawood, listen to me. Dawood. You are talking too much. You're just, Dawood, just Dawood, 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 you're, what, you're, you're getting, him, thing, you're you're getting you, emotional. You said one thing. You're you're getting getting emotional. Emotional. Because Calm what I'm saying is that you said one thing. You're putting your no no. You're putting your finger in my face and you're pointing at me and you're telling me I'm getting emotional. I've got the verse of the Quran here. This is the same. It's idolatry. Yeah. Do you want to hear it? That's hear it. The You're against going against the but Quran, isn't it? For idolatry. Shirk is for okay. Shirk is okay for Ahmadis. What will happen to that person? So, but it doesn't take him. Yeah. Shirk is okay for Ahmadis. Okay, this is what it says. Shirk is okay for Ahmadis. Didn't you know so that? This is uh, I chapter I nine. Stayed, if stayed, Ahmadi stayed, prays to an idol, listen, 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 listen to the words. Surah ninety-eight, verse six. Listen to the words. Surah ninety-eight, verse six. Listen to the words. Surah ninety-eight, verse six. The Quran, yeah? You're yeah, not afraid of the Quran, are you? If you open that door, you're those, not those that. who believe among the people of the scripture and the idolaters, idolaters, he's not even going to listen to the Quran. I mentioned idolaters and he's running off. Do you want to hear the verse? Do you want to hear the verse? Hello, how are you? Do you want to hear the verse? Yeah. <laughs> so here, here what we see, here what we see, this is one of the tactics of the Ahmadi. What the Ahmadi do, what the Ahmadi do is, one of the things that they do is, one of the things that they do, it's okay, one of the things that, you can read the verse in one second. So one of, one of the things that is done is that they claim to be within the fold of Islam by making the statement that because I'm giving the Shahada, because I'm giving the Shahada that I can claim to be Muslim. Now the problem is they're starting at the wrong end. They need to start at the other end, which is the things that take you outside of Islam. So I, we gave the example of worshipping the uh, idol of Krishna in a Hindu temple. Would that take you outside of Islam? Asking this Krishna for whatever help that you might need. And he said, yes, no problem. I said, this is, this is a bad Muslim, but this is still a Muslim. Now this is a big problem here, and this is the problem with their theology. They need to make the claim that once you enter Islam, you cannot leave no matter what you do. This is not under, this is not clear, clearly not understood. Whenever there was anybody who was a claimant to prophethood, the companions fought them. Even in the time of the Prophet peace be upon there were claimants to prophethood, and they were they, these people were fought. They were either uh, brought to Islam or they became or they were killed. And even after the Prophet peace be upon him, the companions did the same thing. If prophets were allowed after the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, then this would not have happened in history. So history speaks against them. So this is an Ahmadi who was not a, yeah. from the Lahore, not from the Lahori branches, from the from the other branch, the main one, so is the claim. Yeah. And he's not able to distinguish between shirk and Islam. Yeah. Yeah. This is the reality of it. Not able to distinguish between shirk and Islam, just to protect their false prophet. And it's interesting, I that was when I asked him, what does the Quran say as a punishment for shirk to the idolaters? Allah clearly says that they will never be in hellfire forever. As soon as I brought the verse out, he literally put his tail between his legs and he ran. He said he's come all the way from Germany to debate. And that was a very short debate. He seems like he's completely bottled it. Why? As soon as the Quran comes out, it's like an exorcism. And he's had to do, <laughs> he's had to do a runner straight away. Yeah. Anyway, not like guide the Ahmadis, but I mean, I mean. these are the sort of people, unfortunately, that are dogmatic. Yeah. They don't have a good ground. They, they play with they words. Just, they even play with contradict words. the Quran directly to your yeah. face yeah. to try to you know, make the point yeah. that somehow Mirza Qadiani is a prophet. Stuff all yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, how can you do that? Na'uzubillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.